Howdy folks, today we're playing Ramp Counters in March the Machine Standard. This deck is actually from a 5-0, so they played it on Magic Online right after the set came out. Um, so that means they went 5-0, and they won 5 games, lost 0. Uh, it does have a sideboard that's a sideboard format, best of 3 format. Um, but this deck is built around all will be one and some of the new invasions and the you know the fact that the all will be one uh you know triggers off the new invasions and what i really like about it is that they've paired all will be one with storm the festival so that way you can get value off of it right away which is really cool so some of the festivals that you know a card that's been around the standard for a while but it lets you put two permanent cards of mana value five or less from among them onto the battlefield so it lets you ramp some more with the invasion. Let's get the all be one down. Let's get a cough down. Doesn't let you hit Chandra. So this is my only really uh, snafu with this deck so far is that it, it you know, you, you are playing cards that you can't hit with the Storm of the Festival, which is interesting. Um, but I think it's not, you know, not the end of the world, certainly. But the uh, the deck's very interesting. Also, just a ramp deck outside of that. You know, the Zeus's Many Journeys, Invasion of Ergamon, which grams with a treasure. Also has five counters, it's pretty cool. The Stomper, Invasion of Zendikar. We've seen this Stomper, Invasion of Zendikar, Zeus's Many Journeys package before. I think it's very, very strong. You have Elder Dragon Wars, sort of as a board wipe. And it also, it's a lower counter, it ticks up. So it sort of serves double duty there. You have Koth, also just uh, plus twos. So it does pretty pretty good work with the All Will Be One. Enters the battlefield with four counters. If you get them both off the Storm of the Festival, then you get to plus two to deal two more damage to something. I think it's really pretty cool. And then you have Light Up the Night, which, if you have a lot of mana, can basically kill anything in the format, which which is pretty nice. Hopefully, we don't you know run into anything we can't kill with that today. But yeah, interesting deck. I'm really excited to see how it does. I really like the Ramp Shell, and I think uh, you know forming it around this all will be one uh, synergy as well could be pretty good. So let's explore this on the ladder. All right, we're going first, and yeah, we have some lands. We have some stuff going on. I'm gonna need to hit one more land, hopefully to cast this Invasion on turn three. So we can go, you know, Zeus Many Journey Invasion Festival. My opponent is doing the Rot Priest thing early and often here, it looks like. We will at least will have this Blast Zone that we can use to blow up some stuff if push comes to shove to play like two more Rot Priests this turn. I think we'll just spend our turn using the Blast Zone. We need to hit an untapped land here. It's probably game over. Hmm. That's the turn. We have this Blast Zone. Either one will just play a bunch more of these Rot Priests or not. Contaminator. Okay. Yeah, we can't. I don't think we can use this blast on this turn. Let's we'll hopefully draw lands. There we go. I'll take that. All right. Invasion time. We want two forests. Now we're pretty happy to block this Rot Priest if they attack with it. We have a Chandra Hope Speaking that can kill two targets if need be as well. If they say tap out for a Bloated Contaminator here. Nice thing is the Chandra won't target, which is pretty nice. No blocks. Like it won't trigger the Rot Priest, I suppose. All right, Chandra time. It's like they didn't have a stick at all. No more watching. It's time to so, do something. Let's try to kill both of these. This is the, end. the proven ground. Pass the turn. Bang. Storm the festival for next turn. Four poison counter is something we have to be wary of. They didn't have anything for a single white to protect the rock priest though. Skrull's hive, okay. And a duelist, sure. Elder Dragon War. It's not bad. So can we cast this and also cast this Storm the Festival? I don't think so. I think we can cast the Storm the Festival. And then potentially the Elder Dragon War, though, if we hit some land. So let's do that. Copy. Copy and send their sorcery spell here. We'll get all will be one and Elder Dragon War. Let's shoot our opponent here. Do damage to everything. And let's get Hoth and the Stomper. You're not with me. 
Go with Phyrexia. Four damage to them. Get a mountain. Even more triggers. While we are going off. Go blue. And uh GG's. That was uh that was incredible. Uh good start. <laughs> Alrighty, we're going first. If we hit <clears throat> some land, I think we'll be fine. So I guess we'll try to do that. And play this invasion next turn and try to cycle uh and uh, light up the night for something. We're just light up the night. That's a turn. We have this topiary stomper next turn. Who their opponents up to? Some Esper. Esper nonsense over there. I gotta use the green from the treasure, so okay. Time to cast this. I think if we do it like this, they might draw a counter out of it. So for a ramp spell, if it draws a counter, I think we're fine with that. <clears throat> Play the proving ground, pass the turn. And a corpulsion forest. Okay, let's do an Zeus as many journeys. See if this is worth a counter for them. Doesn't look like it is. Do we want to get this ticking or not? Yeah, I suppose so. No, no real plan for us though. We gotta draw a finisher at this point. Augury. Oh, they're gonna proliferate my battle. That's funny. Okay. They want to proliferate my blast zone trigger too. I think I'd be fine if they did that. They proliferate some of these likenesses if they wanted to wrath the board as well sooner and they did proliferate here not here not there all right go to my turn storm the festival huh that's not bad pass the turn we can charge this blast zone up a little bit they ever tap out we can resolve this storm the festival, which will be pretty good, I imagine. Got to be some sort of mind splice apparatus deck. So now, if they want a wrath, they can flip both of these. So I probably want to get this blast onto four eventually. If I think this is gonna be a mind splice deck, could just be a planeswalker deck too. But I think we would have seen a walker by now. They did look for it here, okay. Bank bus turn, sure. That will be one. Imagine the replay is going to get countered. The next spell we play, so might as well just run this out here and get it can countered. When it brings a very counter spell heavy deck and something that we're not looking to fight. Hopefully they don't have a destroy evil or something. Gonna draw here. I think we're fine with that. If we ever make them fare well, we can probably get a storm down, which would be convenient. So that way we could potentially hit some, some planeswalkers that would be good. Sunfall. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and exile now. And that's good for us, because that means we can resolve this storm the festival. We can take. I think we gotta take the Koth. Koth and invasion, I suppose. Yeah, I think we gotta take Koth and invasion. Stop 
Stopping Phyrexia is all that matters. And I think we went forced forest here. Two to them. Get another mountain. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This will be nine. So we're pretty close to the storm the festival. They can incub try to incubate down our Koth, but then we could try to light up the night the incubate token. I wonder if they have any anything for this all will be one. Because that's gonna just continue to deal them damage if they don't. They tap out again. We have a chance to draw something pretty good. I'm gonna oh, agree to get the counter on this. Okay. Who knows? Maybe they'll proliferate my card. <laughs> I know they won't, but uh, it's good that they're tapping on now. They did go up on the bank buster to draw more cards, too. Good to note. Probably better for us, they won't be attacking us very often. They're gonna crew, sure. Than you. No, another way to get a creature on the battlefield. Okay, yeah, they do incubate there. Okay. So I think, yeah, our best chance here is going to involve this storm the festival. Those are both not great. Get, get the all will be one in the Elder Dragon War, I suppose. That's what I'll be taking. All right, so my opponent is at. They're at ten right now. I can hit them for one here. I can plus Koth, hit them for six. Sorry, hit them for for four. Bring it down to five. I can charge a blast zone once. I think I just have to try to wipe their board here. So kill this. Blast on the Koth. Oh no, that is that is lethal. If I if I can play every land, right? Yeah, that is lethal. Okay. I miscounted, but uh, definitely lethal. Oh, nope. I'm... I miscounted again. <laughs> Damn. Uh, okay. Guess if they fare well, we have this light up tonight. I don't know why I thought that was lethal. I guess if I had hit them for one, it would have been lethal. Yeah, okay. That's how I got it mixed up in my head. Yeah. Not my best moment there. I had the lethal and I flubbed it up, but uh, hopefully that means when you're watching, you'll you'll think of it next time. <laughs> you gotta really go through all the math and head for it, but uh, GG's. Alrighty, going first, and yeah, I'm on this. I'm about this. Gonna need to hit more lands. Consistent theme is that we're just like looking for more lands off the top of our deck always. I'm gonna have to go back and see how many lands this deck plays. But that's the thing when you play Zeus as many journeys that requires you to have lands in hand that you really need. You really do need to have a high high density of lands, so it's definitely possible that this card should be just a more traditional ramp spell. I don't know. There were a, a card that would let you just search your library for a land to put it on it. Two mana, you certainly play that, but you know those cards are very very powerful. They don't really exist for a reason, so in standard at least. Alrighty, opponent kept their hand. There's just as many journeys. It means we do really need to hit a land. All right, need a green land or else we're stuck with this hand. Spirit Legends, maybe? Possible if we should have mulligan this hand. Tenacious Underdog. Interesting. Mm. I want to light up the night that. I want to Zeus's many journeys. Oh, Zeus, huh? 
cast a turn. Back on lands, not where you want to be, but I think we don't want to light up the night when we just one more land leads us to this Elder Dragon War. They didn't play Thalia. I think if you saw what we played here, you'd potentially drop your Thalia down instead of your underdog. You had it, so. Something else with two health here would be bad for us, but nope, they have a Rafine, which is pretty good. A little conniving there. It's about worst case scenario for us not killing the underdog. And they discarded a dis figure. Interesting. All right, kill this underdog now we have the chance. Pass the turn. Need to hit Lance for this invasion. And we should probably be sitting pretty after that. As long as it resolves. Hey, they want to remove our likeness. Probably fine with that. Instead of developing their underdog. Okay, nope, they're going in the underdog. Knives and Rafine, yep. Land Rafine. I don't think we want to block. Because we want to be able to attack an invasion if we draw a land this turn. Eh, not that land, though. We did an untapped land. Now at least both likenesses will be able to attack this invasion if they just run the underdog play back again. Ooh, that's pretty good, too. Yeah, this is certainly not looking great for us now. Another land, though, means we're living to fight another day. Definitely getting green, green here. Pass the turn. And the thing about this AO is it can play offense and defense, which guards this invasion pretty well. We could have just attacked and killed the invasion, but I don't think it's worth it. Denek, sure. And the big question is, do they have... Do they have uh, counters in their deck? They haven't discarded one yet. They have a disfigure. Gotta imagine they have removal. Okay, lots of removal. Alright. This is, uh, this is our chance to counter this. It's GG's. If they have a counter spell, they should use it. It's pretty clear that the game is over if they do. My guess is they don't have one. Or they're just reading my card to see if it worth countering. Either way, I mean, I would counter basically anything, even if I didn't know what the card did. That was my opponent here. Either way, though, we did not find anything relevant. And that's GG's. Alrighty, opponent's going first. And I did check with 27 lands in the deck, so definitely not a small amount. My opponent's on mono black by the looks of it. Two mana ramp spell would be good here. We can get into just as many journeys. So we can just go right to the invasion and then start really cooking after that. An underdog type of turn here. We'll see. It is. We might use the light of the night if we're not going to do anything else. I was thinking, probably have a couple different options. They probably have the option to keep up removal of some sort. But they're deciding if they want to do that or not. Or just develop their board. I'm our opponent. I'm probably just thinking about developing my board if they just see the Jund here. Evolve Sleeper, okay. The second one? Nope. So they drew that this turn. Alright, kill this. One can go ahead. Is it Trespasser? It is. Okay. That's fine by me. Eight my card. Okay, interesting. 
Not exactly what I was expecting. Bit of force, we start to stop taking this damage. Though I guess getting a mount gives us the option for Koth damage free next turn, but I don't think we're gonna do that. Okay, they have an edict for our stomper. Interesting. I'm gonna go eat that out of our yard. And they stumbled on land. And now we're going Forest Mountain. Play Proving Grounds and pass. Love to draw something other than this cop, but we have to discard a card to kill this Trespasser. We will certainly. So it's one, two, three, four mountains. So I think that's going to be the plan. Kill this graveyard glutton. The only path to victory is fighting side by side. I think we're fine to discard this forest. Cycle this jet mirror's garden. It's for the fallen. Hopefully we have some good here, like a Storm the Festival probably ends the game for us. So that's pretty good. We can delay that though. Rockfall Veil, Viseju. We will retake this land from Phyrexia. I think I'll play the Blast Zone though. Faster turn, keep up the ability to grow it to like whatever size we want. Also have the besage you. Attacking us or the Koth? Us. Okay. Definitely need to let them have their card. And this is the downside of shakedown heavy. And I guess they, they you know they might have lands which they need, but what they really need is to kill us. Shakedown heavy doesn't really let you do that. Belly, belly rat, that's fun. All right, so I can put this on three. Just suppose we'll be doing. Another mountain, huh? All right, we'll plus the Koth again. Then our deck of these mountains. Pass the turn. We don't honestly have to kill this Shakedown Heavy. See where they attack first. Both at us. Yep, I'll have them draw a card. And so now if they want to just like play a shelter or something, we can just blast zone the shelter away, which I think is a solid plan. Hopefully keeping up this blast zone means they don't play something. That's the case, okay. Then my turn. Like that, that's solid. And get rid of one of these mountains. Another blast zone, huh? All right, let's kill this Blight Belly Rat. They're free to proliferate how they see fit. On our invasion counters, I would imagine. Or battle counters, I guess. Um, yeah, and then we'll pass the turn. See what they want to do here. Right, they're hitting lands, so they have an invoke despair. Probably have to have it in the hand. If not doing anything else, probably can have a few invokes, and that's going to be unfortunate for us. But if they do have invoke, then I mean they'll be discarding a hand size here. I mean they basically already have all the cards, and they know how to more than. Know how to do with essentially. 
We flooded out massively. Yep, vote coming in. And we're probably just dead because we can't find any action in the top 22 cards of our deck here. Okay, pass the turn. This is, this is something that can happen with ramp, though. You just... You just miss... You miss on relevant cards a lot. Possible to happen. You just draw poorly and you get clapped. Another invoked spirit kills us here. Arc Fiend, though. Okay, that doesn't kill us. Alright. I don't think we want to have them draw this time. I think we want to pop. Kill this shakedown heavy this time. Go up to four on this Arch Fiend. So we can get the Arch Fiend. Zeus's many journeys. Okay. Pass the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen lands in the top thirty-six or so. Searched out a few of them though. All right, gotta pop this. Yep. Soup's our invasion. Hopefully, you know, I guess this means the Sheldred's coming down. I just I don't know what else would make sense. It's gotta be Sheldred or Invoke Despair or something. Like Sheldred, okay, that makes sense. And Heavy, yep. Alright, invasion time. Gain some life. Cycle this besage you. Chandra, maybe? That doesn't do it. And yeah, just no, no gas. GG's. All right, we're going first. And again, we're low on green. I think that's probably the theme I would say so far is that the, the double green is hard to come by with the stomper for this deck. Here we go though, with some double green. Honestly, I think we're fine. I think I like the hands. Mardu of some kind. Hmm. I think I'll stomp her this turn so that way I can invasion next turn. And kill the invasion. I don't want another green, though, no, for this Storm the Festival. Because it is possible we just jam that next turn. We have the mana for it. Depends on what our opponent does. To see what we would rather have. Inspiring Overseer. Okay. I think that means we're just gonna storm this festival. If we can hit. Invasion of Zendikar. And as use as many journeys, I suppose. Time to attack the invasion. Imagine we'll see a block from our opponent. Yep. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands. We can get to 10 if we kill the invasion next turn and draw land. Now we're probably invasioning and stomping. And I needed to kill our 4-4, four, four. sure. We're fine with that. Go to my turn. Another storm the festival, huh? Okay. Unless I think they have... Graveyard removal? 
How do I lose this game? I'm in a very commanding position. If I can lose this game by whiffing on this storm the festival and I'm having graveyard removal, I suppose. So I guess I will just invasion and stomper this turn. Be a little more patient. It's mountains. Play a stomper, get even more mountains. Now they probably have to use this removal spell on the stomper again. They don't want me to flip. We'll see what they have, though. They have four lands to our huge amount of lands. They have blue now up. Okay. Guess I didn't know this is for a fiend's tower. Hmm, maybe this should change my play just to resolve one of these. They, have, they will have double blue. So if they tap like exactly these two or anything that's not one of these beaches, they will still have double blue up for a counter spell like an exile. And they're gonna. Sure. We are fine with that. No problem there from our point of view. Alright, suppose we should do this just in case they have spell pierce. So we have a. Deck what we need. And not great, honestly. Hmm. I want to keep the Besage you and the Proven Ground in our deck, probably since we can cycle those. Some with the Invasion, probably. Just pass the turn. Get some ramp going. I don't want to discard the storm, the festival. I think we want to definitely use it, get as much value out of it as we can. I'm not even in a spot where we <laughs> could lose. The good thing is there's not that many more lands in our deck. And the lands in our deck that are left provide some utility. Alright, so this is just angels of some kind. So this has probably got Eret and Giada in it, so it's good to note. Gonna have counter here. I think I'm going to. So I could attack, but then they could just play the Aaron and Giada, and it'd be coming with a plus one plus one counter. It'd be pretty good. So I think I'm just going to storm the festival. See what I hit. Okay, all will be one and invasion. That's good here because now I can hit the the Giada. They can flash in their other Giada, but at least then we know what's up. Chelder's edict. Sure, that's that's fine. Yeah, we we're fine with that. No problem there. Cycle this Jetmere's Garden without having to pay the mana for it. Alrighty. Now we pass the turn. Keep these blast zones up. I've got this Jetmere's Garden. Got a lot of good draws. And they don't seem to have counter magic. That's that's fine. <laughs> Not too scared about the invasion of Dominaria. I think I want to put this on three. So I can get an Aaron and Giada if ever I need to. Chandra's Hope Beacon. Yes, that, that's a good one. Time to light up the darkness. And now I can minus this to deal three to this and to this. Flip them both. And get the attacking going. 
Yeah, no, I don't think I want the these invasion slips. I don't really care that much. And yeah, time to copy the storm the festival. Get this invasion with the all will be one, and that should be pretty close to lethal with this other one resolving. Get the last two lands in our deck before the storm the festival resolves. And yep, there we go. That is a lot of damage. It's a good old 16 damage. Uh, no, I'll decline. I don't have anything else to get, unfortunately. Killing with 11 on the stack still. GG's. Alrighty, we're going first. And yep, I'll keep this. And I'm actually going to lead on this Bergamon here. Uh, just so I can guarantee to be playing this Zendikar in turn 3. Okay. I will select the wrong land and play the wrong land. Oops. That that is not great, but we <laughs> kind of got bailed out with this stomper. Not not my best move though. And uh, next turn we can invasion, get all the lands we need, and attack the invasion, which is something. Crazy how things work out sometimes. Attack the invasion. Hoping our opponent feels the need to block here. Since we're just getting so much value if they don't. Might really need this mana though. Jetmere's Garden has me intrigued. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. They let me flip it. Okay. Yes. That is fine. Now we have two pretty good... Good blockers here. Skyclave is definitely a better creature than the the Stomper, so we'll keep the Skyclave around. Now we just need to find some big end of game spells. This can't be an Invoke Justice deck because. They don't have enough white. It would be a cruelty of Gix, a Traxa deck, but they did not discard an Atraxa. Could just be a board wipe here? Drag to the bottom. Just a domain thing? Okay, sure. Mountain. Play the invasion. Get a couple more mountains. And now we have this Brigamon that can cycle his many journeys, which should be pretty good. Okay, so they just drew and pass. I'm not sure what they were doing because they didn't discard cards with the with the fable, they just let it let it go on. I don't know. GG's. Alrighty, we're going first, and can we keep a no ramp hand? That's the question we're about to answer here. If we can or not. Light up the night should be able to keep us alive, hopefully long enough to get this all be one and storm the festival down. Turn one roadside reliquary. Not what I expected to see from my opponents. This uh Okay, interesting. Definitely interesting. Pass the turn. Invasion means we can go from four to six at least. Companions this is just mono white stuff. Yep. Turn four. Turn four invasion on the play is not great. Not not gonna lie. And they're just gonna draw right now, okay? And another bank buster, sure. Alright, throwing the festival time. And Koth and Topiary Stomper. Alright, let's do just that. Get a mountain. Is a, a Phyrexia does 
deserves none. I'll never forget the whole Get a mountain. Do I think I'll need this gem mirror's guard? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next turn I'll have nine mana. So I can play the gem mirror's guard next turn again if I'm feeling that. Okay. Play the mountain then. Next turn will be an all will be one turn. We can block a bank buster if they just are able to crew it, which is fine with us. Nice thing is it has vigilance against any potentially wandering emperor. Ossification, okay. Koth down. And a ganjo. Those ossifications are going to have to be pretty good. Alright, yeah, I think I'm gonna all will be one. But this is Zeus's many journeys. Snipe the spirited companion. Back the invasion. Flip it over. Yep, it's all good with me. Play the proving grounds. Because this is eight mana. This is give us. Nine propulsion force is ten. That's a turn. I guess we have this skyclave too. But I don't want to have to rely on that. Imagine we're gonna see some sort of sweeper coming in. It must be good on mana. We don't see a sweeper here. We're gonna feel good. Can't really exile enchantments with the with a farewell because we get our Koth back. So, I mean, they definitely could, but. It's not terrible for us if that's what they do. All right, lay down arms. Probably means no wrath. They have another lay down arms or something? Lorne of the Third Path. Uh, that is good. Okay. That's not what we wanted to see. Hmm, that was, that was a very nice draw. Another one, though. So we could just play this Storm Festival, but I really kind of feel like I need this all will be one down first. Attack. Ugh, this means I have another Lauren. That's very unfortunate. They have another Lauren here. Probably not good for us in the grand scheme of things then. Double Lauren hit this all will be one again. Bandit didn't start with the Lauren, I guess. Something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. Draws with the bank buster to get the pilot to start attacking potentially. They want to attack though. I'll block the, the bank buster that has three. Okay, no, they don't want to attack. That's fine. Just drawing, trying to hit a Lauren or something so they don't give us a free turn. This all will be one. All right, cycle this garden. We'll kill the pilot. Cast the storm the festival. I'm gonna go blast zone invasion. I'm gonna kill this architect. And do one to them. For the rock fall veil. Vale. Back our opponent. Do they want to chump block? And 
we want to try to engineer a position where we can like cough and then have a big light up tonight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Blast zone can give us a lot of damage as well. Koth obviously gives us some damage with the all will be one. And kill our all will be one again. It's probably gonna be in business. Oh, will be one just snipes so many of their things. Sanctuary Warden, yeah, that's fine. Good, but it's not it's not not the end of the world. Sure. Creature of Planeswalker. It's not being used on the all will be one. Some removal spot, I think we're fine with it. All right, let's add a charge counter here. That way we can deal damage to the Sanctuary Warden, get rid of the shield counter. Still enough to cast Koth, yep. All right, let's storm the festival. Then we'll give an invasion, still deal a bunch of damage. All right, all will be one and invasion. All right, let's talk about this. Opponents at 19. We're about to do six to them. That could bring them down to 13. And then Koth could bring them that six to be 12. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we would have enough with the light of the night. Okay, that looks like lethal to me. Side by side. Deal damage to our opponent. We take this land from Get a mountain. And I think I want to charge the blast zone for the final kill. Just so they know. Just so they know the blast zone did just enough to kill him. And that's the power of small will be ones. They even got rid of one of them, but that is the power. That's, that's wow, incredible stuff. Our opponent was at. I don't even know what life total was, but uh, whatever it was, definitely wasn't high enough to escape our wrath. GGs. Alrighty, and we're back with ramp counters in March the Machine Standard, and the deck performed admirably. It it just kills your opponents from spots you're not really sure you can win from. Has a lot uh, a lot going on. In that regard, I think the only thing I really am not too fond of is the mountain force split in the deck. I, I feel like there should be a way to get more green sources in here. Uh, so that way you can cast turn three stomper more often. I've never had a problem with green sources for storm the festival because once you have that mana, you probably have searched it with stomper or with invasion. So you can get your force that way. But I think having maybe if you could fit a green source or two more into this deck, You'd be feeling a lot better about where you're at. And the other big question is, your whole deck is built around this Storm the Festival, All Will Be One, all this combo nonsense here. How good is Chandra? Because Chandra does have a combo with Storm the Festival, and that you can you can get two copies of it. That's pretty good. But I think you might be better off, better served finding a Planeswalker at five mana, um, just some sort of big, great Planeswalker. The problem is... There's not really great great ones of that. You have Luca, not a great five mana Planeswalker that you really want to be playing in this deck probably. Um, and I'd say that's your next best option. So I think you're kind of locked into, I locked into the Chandra rule right now. Um, you could obviously increase the number of Koth. You could you know, cut the Chandra and go four Koth, four all will be one. 
I don't think you would necessarily want to do that, though. I do think there needs to be some sort of higher, powerful top end to go along with your Storm of the Festival. Just not sure it should be Chandra. So I think, you know, got to look into got to look into the options there, see what see what uh, definitely works. But yeah, I'll post the uh, deck down in the description. Go ahead and check that out. That deck has a full sideboard. So if you want to play it um, in best of three, I, I do like the sideboard that they chose. So go ahead and check that out. And as always, until next time, wherever you are, whenever you are, have a magical day.